Hi everybody, postcards from the bottom. I'm here in Wilmington, Vermont, at the Petty Memorial Library. Beautiful library with a lot of great events. Um, I snuck over here without telling anyone I was coming except one person who also was sneaking over here um, to show you guys in action, dead seriously, something that I would have missed if I didn't wasn't really looking all over the internet for different stuff. Um, and it was easy to miss. Um, and no one talks about these type of things that happen. So the Wilmington Police Department has come to story time. Chief Matthew Morano, who's the police chief here, who has so many other things to do, plus his own family and everything else. Um, and he took time out of his days, actually here right now, to do story time with the little kids and read them stories. So I have to show you this. But he would be embarrassed, I think, if I if he knew I was taping. I don't know. You know, he's not about that. You know, he's about the, he's the real deal. So I wanted to show you guys because this is such a great library, by the way. Here are the hours and the spelling. They have all kinds of events, great things. I've done a lot of things here. And anytime I need anything, I can come to this library and um, see. You know, they have so many great things for adults and children. So I just got the alert on my phone. It says, Murano story time. <laughs> and I'm waiting for Mrs. Murano because she's going to sneak over here too. She didn't even know. This is the type of stuff that the police, the chief of police, police does, you know, and as, as well as everything else. And uh, making sure the community is safe and keeping us all informed. It's all of these guys. I'm sure the other guys will come. They're all part of the community and they make sure... And everybody knows that, including little kids who could easily see crap on TV that's all BS. And this is the real thing. And, you know, they make sure to show that. So I'm going to sneak in there. And I'm not going to stay for a long time because I don't want, like, everyone to know that I'm doing this. I didn't even really ask for permission. But I just wanted you guys to see the type of thing that we're dealing with here and how completely different it is than what you hear on the news uh, about different police departments and... Um, community workers and what you may have heard which is not true about you know a generalization made about all of Vermont it's just not and there's no and also the ones that are made about police officers and police departments I wouldn't have believed it myself only because you know the media tells me certain things all these years and even though I never thought that a police department was bad I just didn't see one that was like these like the ones in these communities you know, I mean, it's incredible. So I'm going to go in there and I'm going to show you what I mean. And he's even like sitting down to make them feel safe. He's incredible. The whole, the whole community here is so amazing. And that's why it's so important to tell people about this area because they're missing out. They really are. I think the majority of the people I grew up with in Great Neck, you know, the people I know now, the good people, uh, if they saw this like hands on up close in a living day to day situation, not just when they came to the mountain to ski, they would see what I was talking about. This is like old America. It's been somehow preserved. I don't understand it. Uh, it's, but it's amazing and it's incredible and I'm in love with it. Um, but the police department is just one example of that. And, you know, that's always so important to me when people are keeping us safe because that's the most important thing when you have kids, right? And people that you love is you want to be safe. You want to be in a community that's safe for kids and everybody else. And that's what they do. So here we go. This is what I was talking about. Hold on. I'm going to be inconspicuous and I'll show you a little bit and then I'll run out. This is the downstairs kids' room. Okay, watch this. I'm not gonna talk now. When Daniel gets to grandma's, she tells him, a hug from you makes my day good. I just wanted to run out here for a second because I wanted to say, did you notice that not only is he reading the book, but he's also turning the book and making sure they all see the pages. It's the funniest thing. It's the cutest thing that these people care this much about this community. So um, I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm not going to go right in his face with this camera because I feel terrible doing that. And I, you know when people are not expecting it. But I just wanted you to see. By the way, look at this quote. The real secret of success is enthusiasm. Uh, all the time they change the quotes here, and I love these quotes. This is another example of the way these places, 
you know, do so many things, not just one. And the Brown Bag Lunch Series is a great thing they have now. Different, you know, um, instruction on business, managing money, and, you know, um, you can go to during your lunch hour. Down there is the incredible Wilmington Fire Department. You know, I don't want to embarrass the chief, so I don't want to go in there alone, and his wife's not here yet, so um, I don't know if she was going to sneak over here. Jackie, get over here. Um, and it's, it's just, I hope one of the other newspapers is here. I wish I had a good camera, you know, because this is all stuff. You don't have to make up stuff to sell about this community. It sells itself. It's like I can't even believe this. I had to come here today not just to show you guys, but to believe it myself, honestly. I mean, where do you see a chief of police that does something like that? Really? What chief of police cares that much? That's what I mean. These are the type of things that make these departments and the people that work there heroes to me. They change lives. They get involved. They make sure to touch everybody in that way. Okay, I'm going to walk away now. Um, I don't know if she's coming, but you get my point. I'm going to go back in there and maybe just take pictures. Postcards from the bottom.